Let's bring in now the co-host of the Mason and Ireland show weekdays on 710 ESPN, Steve Mason. Welcome to the Fox 11 News special report. Great to see you, my friend. Thanks a lot for having me. Appreciate it. All right. So this is the big game. The Rams have really struggled against the Niners for years. What do they have to do different to go over the top this time? Well, I mean, I think that realistically, it's really difficult to run on the San Francisco 49ers. So I think this game is going to be squarely on the shoulders of Matthew Stafford. He's played back to back really good games in the playoffs so far. Uh, and I feel confident in him. He said the Niners are peaking at the right time. I would argue that the Rams are also peaking at exactly the right time. These coaches know each other really well. Uh, they know the game plans really well. They know what each is going to do against the other. I say seventh time is the charm. <laughs> Six in a row this weekend, the Rams snapped that streak. Okay, so you that much confidence that you think the Rams are going to take this one. That's your pick. I do. I, I feel really good about this matchup. Again, I was at the uh, the game the last uh, week of the season when they played the 49ers. And, right. you know, we had them. I say we. I'm a Rams season ticket holder. Uh, I say we we had them uh, at the end of regulation. Wait, I'm down 17 nothing. Then we had them at the end of regulation, 90 seconds away from beating them. Uh, it was uh, it was a deflating loss, but I think the Rams know this team really well. I think that's going to make all the difference. Well, and, and you were surrounded by a sea of red when you were at that game, which may have contributed because they had a hard time hearing just because those Niners fans are so loud and boisterous. Uh, what do you make of what it's going to be like on Sunday? How, how are you going to overcome that? Well, I think, first of all, I think I've talked to a lot of Ram season ticket holders, people who may have sold their tickets for the first time around. I hear from people that they're not selling their season tickets. I think people realize this is a once in a lifetime game. The opportunity to win an NFC championship game at home against your most hated rival with a chance to go to the Super Bowl at your home stadium, that will never happen again. And I think any sensible Rams fan, anybody who's bought in, is going to keep those tickets and enjoy that atmosphere. And I say Sunday is the day the Rams take back their house. And you're going to be there too, right? You're not giving up that seat. Section 246, see you there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. So a lot of people are used to hearing you talk about sports with John Ireland for so many years and for years here on Fox 11 as well. But you also really, really love talking about pop culture talking about entertainment. You even previously owned a movie theater with Brian Cranston of Breaking Bad fame. And you've got this new podcast uh, called the Pop or Culture Pop Podcast, uh, which has had a, a series of fantastic guests. I mean, of course, I was including me somehow. You were there. Uh, but, I count you among the fantastic. <laughs> but, uh, tell, talk to us a little bit about, about the podcast and, and what kind of stuff people can get there. So I'm a huge movie lover, huge uh, pop culture lover, and we've had great guests on the show, as you mentioned. You know, Brian has been on the on the show, and O'Shea Jackson Jr. and Freddie Prinze Jr. and Susie Essman from Curb Your Enthusiasm, comics and actors and directors and and writers, and it's really about uh, not just the stars, but also the people that are behind the movies and the TV that we absolutely love. I do it with my friend Sue Kalinsky, stand-up comic, uh, and we have, a, we have a great time. As you know, Alex, I, I, I think you had a good time, didn't you? It was so fun, <laughs> and she is fantastic. Sue is really great as well. Okay, we want to really get really smart, really funny. We want to get to your top movie picks of the year, but let me just tell you quickly, Steve. I don't know if you know this. I was in season three of Breaking Bad, episode one. Check it out, by <laughs> the way. Yes. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now. Yeah, you can have me on anytime. Uh, okay, so your 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 top three movies. Let's start with number three. You say is Spider Man. Spider Man, No Way Home. You know, this is such a smart, such a clever movie. It's got a great twist in it. I don't, a lot of people have seen it. I don't want to spoil it for people uh, who are waiting for it on demand or at home. But I think this is just a really well-written, well-crafted film. Tom Holland is spectacular in it. And you know what? I think the Academy is nuts if they don't nominate it for Best Picture. And Tom Holland has expressed interest in uh, being the host of the Oscars. He would be a great choice. Uh, number two, you say Steven Spielberg bringing back West Side Story. 
You know, I was a skeptic of West Side Story. I never held, had great affinity for the show, but Spielberg has done something different with it. This cast, Ariana DeBose and Rachel Zegler as Maria, and Tony Kushner wrote a great part for Rita Moreno that fits seamlessly. It's like a, a career capping performance for her. It's a beautiful, mesmerizing film. I know that it hasn't necessarily done the box office that people hoped, but I think it'll be a Best Picture nominee with a shot to win. And Alex and I absolutely agree with your number one pick, Coda. Coda is just the most moving film experience of the year. It's on Apple Plus. It's got a great cast. Marley Matlin uh, is fantastic. So is Troy Kotzer, uh, who I actually recently had on the show. Uh, these are deaf actors, and it's the story of a young girl who can sing. Amelia Jones plays her beautiful voice, uh, and what it's like to be raised by a deaf family and it's this symbiotic relationship that we have and what it's like when she goes away to study music it is a beautiful movie strongly it, it recommended is. and it's called coda which is children of deaf adults that's what that stands yes, for exactly. so you can listen exactly. to the culture pop podcast with steve and sue on spotify and apple check out all those previous conversations and of course listen to them on 710 espn radio every day steve thank you so much Go Rams. Go Rams. <laughs> Thank you, Steve.